how to build high performing teams right there's so many different things one can do my experience says that at a higher level one should pay attention to these four things right one listen to your customers get a sense of what your market needs what is your competition doing right you need to be aware of the playing playing field that you're on now you may throw some of those things away because they're not who you are not what you want to be not where you see your company going not what your strengths are not aligned with your mission or purpose or vision and that is fine but you still need to be aware of what is happening in the environment that you are a member of right so that's number one number two Reassess and evaluate all of the strengths across your team or across your teams, starting with yourself. None of us are perfect and we all have flaws. So be honest with yourself and figure out what are the things that you're really good at. Ask your team members to evaluate you, maybe anonymously if they don't feel comfortable yet. But find out, ask your friends and colleagues, ask your family who really knows you. Say, hey, what are the things I'm good at? What are the things that I think I'm good at but I'm really not good at? Right? It might be a shock to you, but it's really good for the long term, right? For all of you. And do the same thing uh, with every member of your team. Number three, be very clear about what your aspirational goal or goals are. Where do you want to be in three to five years as a business? Not individually, but as a business because you're in this journey or on this journey together. Most folks have difficulties working with 15, 20, 30 year increments. So let's just focus on three to five years. Where do you want to be? So once you know where do you want to be, what does the market want and need, and what are the skills and strengths you have to help get you there, there's only one more step. And that is design that journey and that process. Be very flexible because it will change. That path will take twists and turns you never saw coming. But design the strategies and tactics and put them in place that will give you an opportunity to be successful. Once you, or as you're going through these four steps, everything you do needs to be built and done and based on trust, honesty, transparency, respect, teamwork, and most importantly, self-awareness. If members of a team don't trust each other, they cannot be completely honest with one another. They're not going to help each other. They're not going to share information freely. They will not put in 100% on that project or on that team. That's just a fact of life. If one member doesn't respect another team member, that's a problem. If a member does not want to be a member of a team and meet everybody at least halfway, meet everyone at the plateau where everyone sits today, that's a problem. If anybody belittles another member of a team because he or she has superior technical skills or a higher degree or a higher title or has been there longer or brought more money for the company, that's a problem. If a team member is not aware of the actions and words that they are saying and taking every single day, that are troubling or harmful to the company as a whole, that's a problem. All of these things you have to map out, go through the process, build and address. And on this journey, you're gonna bring new people in. You might ask others to leave. You might redesign the team entirely. You might change people from areas, from departments, from areas of responsibilities. All of that is part of this process and this journey. And it's important to understand that this will take months, in some cases years, depending on the size and scope of your team and your responsibilities and immediate as well as your strategic goals, right? Having said that, not every company, not every business has the stomach or the patience to wait 18 months or two years for a high performing team to be built. So be mindful of that. Along this journey, you're gonna have to deliver some, um, you know, minor immediate wins, grab some low hanging fruit as you're building your skill set and as you're training everybody for that 
much larger level of contribution and performance for the entire business, perhaps even the entire industry. So keep some of these things in mind and share your thoughts on what did I miss when it comes to building high performing teams. I wish you a wonderful day and as always if this is the first video you see, please consider subscribing and sharing it with your friends and colleagues. Have a wonderful day.